Today we'll be coloring a music video for Ian. I opened up the timeline here, we have three clips from an Ian music video, and we're going to be coloring each of these clips individually with a unique style. Now, I make these tutorials to teach you guys how to color grade. So let's hop right into it. So right clicking inside of a project, we're going to create a new item. And we're going to pick adjustment layer. Now we're going to hit OK and drag this into our timeline and stretch it over our three clips. Now before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40 and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I add Fast Effects to my cart and then decide to add Opium Looks and CRT Textures, I'll get CRT Textures and Opium Looks for completely free at checkout. You guys don't want to miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever. Go down below and pre-order Fast Effects today. Now we're going to press C and we're going to make a cut by clicking where each clip is so we have a separate adjustment layer for each clip in the timeline now starting off on the very first one here i'm going to open up lumetri color i'm going to go into creative under look i'm going to hit none i'm going to hit browse and we're going to be coloring this with my ultimate LUT pack that you guys can grab down below it has over 350 plus unique LUTs but you guys can also use your own LUTs as well and there are millions of free LUTs on the internet as well we're just going to be using these LUTs as a base and then we're going to go ahead and tweak everything after in basic correction so it doesn't really matter what LUTs you use you could use your own you could use mine we're going to be tweaking everything after like I said in basic correction so let's go ahead and pick a completely random LUT here let's go with um let's go with uh, 224 and we get this really dramatized blue look here. So to expand on this, I'm gonna to go to basic correction here and we're gonna turn down the contrast just so we get a little bit more texture in this. I'm gonna turn down the greens a little bit just, or turn up the greens, I guess. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the shadows and then we're gonna go ahead and turn up the highlights just to brighten it up a little bit. I think that looks super clean there, guys. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of film grain to this just to spice it up a little bit more. If you guys want the exact film grain I use, it'll be linked down below in my film editing pack. We're gonna go ahead and expand the effect controls, pull it down, and let's turn this to overlay. And we have a nice film look on this clip here, looking super clean. We have the before and then the after. Super, super nice, guys. Now let's move on to the next one here. We're gonna be using uh, this frame as the hero shot here. Let's go for another completely random LUT on this one, opening creative. We're gonna hit browse. And let's go with, let's go with 71 here. We have this blue LUT, kind of blue and teal LUT. You need to bring a lot of contrast back into this image. We're gonna go ahead and turn that up, turn the shadows down. We're gonna turn the orange up a bit, turn the green up a tad, bring some whites back, turn the blacks down. And I think this clip was pretty botched to begin with. If we look at the original one, it's like very low quality, so I can't really get the craziest grade on it, unfortunately. I'm working with what I have, guys. But I think I did something pretty unique to the original one here, just a nice little green and orange color grade. Now, moving on to our next one here, I think we'll have a lot more experimentation with this one here. If we go into Lumetri Color, open Creative, under Look at None, and then hit Browse, let's go with 19 here. Now we got a nice orange and teal LUT that we could expand on. We're gonna go ahead and turn up the contrast, and then turn up the teal, and then just like this, maybe add a little bit more like that. We're gonna turn down the blacks, and then turn on the highlights a bit, and then turn on the shadows, and then maybe turn up the highlights a little bit. And then we get this nice like look where the teal, where like the shadows and midtones are teal. We have the before and the after, and then we have like the before, the before versus what I did here. Uh, like I was saying earlier, guys, the clip isn't really the highest quality as you guys can see here, but um, I did my very best. That looks cursed. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something about color grading, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.